That is not why a person is going to become successful. I'm going to give you the truth about success. There are two types of people on this planet. Okay? You have rich and wealthy people and you have poor and middle class. How many of you believe that the middle class is being eliminated? Slowly but surely, it's happening. You're going to have a choice, and that choice is, are you going to be rich, or are you going to be poor? Now, poor doesn't mean you don't have any money. That's broke. <laughs> poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly. I promise you this. Over the next six months, year, 18 months, over the next 10 minutes, there will be several opportunities that will come your way that most people will pass up on because of the way they have been programmed to think. Because growing up, we were taught that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably what? We were taught that all good things come to those who? We were taught money doesn't grow on trees. Money can't buy you. That's not true. Ladies, 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 let me, let, me, let me ask you a question. We give you a black card right now, say, hey, listen, go to Neiman's and have at it. How many of you are going to be in Neiman's crying while you're picking out all these bags and shoes and all that stuff? Or are you going to be laughing and happy? Okay. Right? We were taught all these things about money and how to think about it. We were taught, look out for the gear rich quick. We were taught that all rich people are going to? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and that's not true. Here's the reality of it, guys. 3% live here. 97% live here. 3% live in the rich and wealthy. 97% live in the poor middle class. Ladies and gentlemen, if you understand what I'm about to share with you right now, you will leave here tonight rich. Amen. Okay? Now your enthusiasm overwhelms me, but I'm so serious. <laughs> if you understand what I'm about to share with you, okay? I was living with my dad when I got this. Ten years ago. Literally living with my dad on a twin-size bed, driving his Malibu. Ten years ago. When I got this information, and it completely changed my life forever, it's still changing my life today. See, if I asked you how do rich and wealthy people make money, you'll tell me they invest, you'll tell me they own businesses, you'll tell me they do real estate. Those are all correct answers, but a person becomes rich and wealthy because they have goals. They have what? Goals. goals. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't become a millionaire without first having a goal to become a millionaire. It's impossible. No one becomes a millionaire, like, successfully on accident. I'm not talking about the lottery right now. <laughs> like, it doesn't just happen and we look around and say, wow, how did all this happen? No, it was intentional. Does that make sense? If I ask you how the poor and middle class people make money, you tell me what? They work a what? They work a job. Nothing wrong with having a job, but there is something wrong with only having a job. Now, I need full participation here, all right? Raise your hand if you do have a job. Okay, all right. Now, this is a question no one's probably ever asked you before, so it's probably gonna take you a quick second to answer it, <laughs> but I want you to answer this truthfully. All right, you ready? How often do you think about your job? All the, time. All the time, every day, all throughout the day. Okay. How many of you ever looked at your watch and said, it's getting late, time for me to go to bed so I can wake up on time and get to work? How many of you wake up in the morning, first thought you have is, oh, I gotta go there to work. All right? On your way to work, how many of you are thinking, I don't want to go to work today? How many of you thought that? While you're there, ask your job. Does your job require you to think while you're there? Yes. 
Some of you have jobs that don't require you to think. <laughs> you need to get another job, okay? Right? So for at least eight hours in that day, you're thinking about what? Your job. Would you say that your job is probably the most element of your life that you think about the most? Yes. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, that's what you think about the most. The richest man in the world to ever live. Anybody know who that is? Solomon. Solomon. King Solomon. Guys. Solomon. <laughs> Raise your hand if you know who King Solomon is. <laughs> we got some heathens in the house. You don't know Solomon. Right? He's in the Bible. Check him out. All right. This is what he said. He said, "As a man thinketh, no. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he." In today's language, all that simply means is you become what you think about. So if your job is what you think about the most, you have become your job. You say, what are you talking about? Well, whatever you think about the most controls your life. The house you live in today, what determined it? Now, we're in Houston. Do they have million dollar homes here? Yeah. Do they have two million dollar homes here? Yeah. Well, why don't you go in that neighborhood? <laughs> why couldn't you afford it? Because your job said what? Yeah. You can't afford it. The car you drive, what determines the car you drive? Yeah. Yeah. Job. Do they have Rolls Royces here? In yeah. yes. Do they have Bentleys here? Yes. yes. Why didn't you go to the Rolls Royce dealership and say, hey, I want a red one with a silver hood? Why didn't you do that? <laughs> He said, because I got it already, right? <laughs> Why you it? Because your job said, no, this is, you can only drive what? This. <laughs> right? No, guys, think about this now. It controls the clothes you wear. It controls where your kids go to school. It controls where you go to dinner. It controls how you look at the menu when you go to dinner. How many of you look at the menu from the right to the left? Watch this. Wealthy people, they think about their goals all the time. And therefore, they become their goals. See, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with this. Over here, in the rich and wealthy side, remember I told you this. Faith is required. Remember I told you this. Over here, rich and wealthy, I'm sorry to let you know, there are no guarantees. Zero. I've made you no guarantees tonight. Zero. Okay. Over here, poor middle class, no faith is required. You know, after two weeks, you're going to get that. How many of you know you're going to get your check? How many of you say, I better get my check? Right? 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 So you don't need faith to go to work. You know, you've got all the guarantees. There's guarantees over here galore in the poor middle class. Here's the problem with that. You ready? There's a saying in the Bible. It says, for it is impossible to please God without faith. So what you're telling me is that majority of your life, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, has been spent in an arena where no faith is required. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and you're expecting... This, these blessings to come down. It doesn't work. Come on. You cannot say, I'm going to earn a million dollars. Like, like this doesn't work over here. What I just talked to you about doesn't work over here. You can't go to your boss tomorrow and say, you know what? 
I went to a seminar yesterday, and there was this young, good-looking man, and he was, <laughs> <laughs> right. and he was, and he was talking about thinking, and you become what you think about, and, and faith, and you know, I was thinking all night <laughs> that you should give me a raise. <laughs> It doesn't work like that. <laughs> See, 15 years ago when I started, and I was living with my dad, okay, after the first year of failure, the second year of failure, the third year of failure, the fourth year of failure, going on my fifth year of failure, it was all faith. By 27, made a million. By 27 years old. Okay. What I made in my last company in seven and a half years, in 2018, I made all of it in one year. <coughs> Faith. I don't care what your situation is right now. It doesn't matter to me. If you understand the information I just shared with you, you can turn your situation around. Whether you get involved in IML or not, doesn't matter. If you understand the last thing I shared with you, 2009, that year I made 126000 2010, I made 540,000. 2011, I made 1.4 million. 2012, I made 2.2 million. I set a goal for 2013 that I was going to earn $5 million. I took a $5 bill. All right? And I changed it with a Sharpie to $5 million. And I put it on my bathroom sink right downstairs. And every morning, I would see what? $5 million. Your subconscious mind doesn't know what's real or what's not. All it knows is the information that you give it. So all it saw was what? $5 million. I never moved that $5 million bill. 2013 comes around. You would think I made five million, right? Oh uh, no, I made one point seven million. Two thousand fourteen, I made one point one million. Two thousand fifteen, I made six hundred and fifty thousand. Now I'm looking for God. <laughs> I went to Bible school. I literally enrolled in Bible school. I was like, all right, I'm just, I'm just going to go find God because I don't know what's going on. I still had the $5 million bill sitting there. Watch this. 2016. 300000 At this point, I got chest pain. At this point, can't sleep. At this point, I'm, because guys, you may think, oh, you, listen, if you go from here to here, this fall, this, see this fall right here? That's a fall. I can tell you this, it's much easier going to the top than being at the top and falling. I got a phone call, the same phone call you got, October 2000. 16. Remember that $5 million bill? 2017, $2.2 million. 2018, $7.8 million. That $5 bill that I wrote here, that I kept, did not come true until 2018. I'm telling you, it works. But you have to be involved in something that gives you the opportunity to actually have faith for it. You can't do it with a job. So whatever it is you're going to do, find something that he can bless. You put, your, you put your time into it. You put your work into it. You be consistent. And I promise you, it will happen for you. Okay? So I appreciate all of you being here tonight. If you are a guest and you say, hey, I want to start this journey of entrepreneurship. I want to start this journey of becoming 
knowledgeable about money and investing and growing money. I want to start this journey of actually living, not based on guarantees, but based on faith. I want to congratulate you on getting started with us. Okay? The person that invited you here tonight, I'm pretty sure they have an application for you to get enrolled. Uh, we have some up here. If you're a guest and you want an application, raise your hand. If you're a guest and you want an application, can you please help? help? We can get a couple of guys to help with that as well. Okay. Uh, what I want you to do, take the application, fill it out, give it back to the person that invited you here tonight. Okay. And they're going to walk you through getting into the system, get you plugged into the different services that we have. All right. For those of you that are still thinking, should I do this or not? I tell people all the time, you do not fail in life because of a lie that was told to you. You typically fail in life because of the truth that was told to you that you just chose not to believe. And I've told you the truth tonight, okay? So my belief is that you believe it and you get started with this, okay? Congratulations to you guys. We'll see you guys real soon.